Hi, this is True Patriot 09, and just wanted to go over uh, some different types of camo patterns and how you can camo uh, a gun, a boat, whatever it is you want to camo. Uh, very cheap, very easy to do, and it doesn't take a whole lot of time. So, we'll start off by saying some of the simple things you can do are painter's tape. I use a lot of painter's tape. Um, some sort of exacto knife or just a box cut or something like that. This is a 12 by 12 um, tile and ceramic tile and what I've done is I've just laid painters tape all the way across it and you can see up here I've kind of you know just squiggled out some lines and cut out some stuff. There was a gentleman who was asking about an alligator pattern. I looked at some alligators last night. It seems like they have these kind of uh, oddly shaped squares and things like that and this is kind of like a multi-cam uh, pattern so what you can do is and, and what you can see is I've, I've taken just an old uh, box I've got OD green I've got what looks like I didn't paint but it's actually uh, tan and then I've got black so basically it depends on what type of area, uh, area uh, you're going to be in and how you want to camo so Typically the way I do it is if you're going to be somewhere in the Midwest, maybe a desert area, maybe a lot of browns and things like that, what I would do is I would start out with a light color. If you're going to be somewhere in the mountains, it's going to be a little bit uh, green, uh, greener during the summertime, uh, or just darker in general, uh, maybe during the fall, you're going to want to use OD green or black as a base coat. So these are what I'm using as base coats. So, say you have OD green and you want to do some sort of multi-cam pattern. What you do is, you take out, you take these cutouts and you put them over your gun stock. Um, once you do this with uh, your gun stock, you roll these out, and I'm trying to do this with uh, uh, a hand on the camera and try to spread this out. So, so what you do is basically, pretty simple. And the good thing about painter's tape, too, is it, is it doesn't leave any sort of residue. So maybe you'll take, say, two of these shapes, okay? You can overlap them. Uh, you can put them in different types of areas and things like that. So what you'll do is now that you have that there, we'll go over here and grab some paint. Sorry about the camera work here. So typically I don't use Krylon I use, or uh, Rust-Oleum Camouflage. Most of the time I use the Brownells Alumahide. It's like a ceramic based, a little bit more expensive, I will say that. So basically, once you have your shapes down that you want, you're going to go back over and lightly just kind of spray, spray around it, okay? So, once you do that, once you spray that over, you leave these particular pieces down. So then you come back and maybe over here you'll put one. And you got to think too, nothing is, in, in nature is perfect. Uh, that's the way God intended it. So, um, if it looks like it's not going to turn out to be much, it actually will turn out to be fine. So you can see that here, I overlapped... I overlap some so just to show you that how you can overlap so then I might come back and I'll take what I'll do is I'll take the the tan color and when I get the tan color what I'll do is now I'll go back over everything again so now mind you this isn't an actual gun so if we were doing this uh, you know, actually on a gun, I would go back and I would com I would do it completely different. So we'll let that dry for a second. So the next one, alligator stripes. I kind of looked up some alligator stuff last night. Uh, some of their colors, they were talking about grays and blacks and things like that. So uh, greens. Um, so what you could do with this is cut out maybe some little squares and just kind of go over some little squares and just barely just kind of hit around it some, just kind of, you know, throw off some of the different types of colors and things like that. You'll come back, maybe up here, 
um, maybe down here and you'll go back over it say um, say we'll go back over it with brown or black uh, or whatever color you may have whatever color you want so you know and the painters tape does stick better to a synthetic stock opposed to this box so so then you'll go back over and maybe hit it with a little bit of brown now remember every time you put a piece of this painters tape down you want to leave that painters tape as it is so the last one is black um, typically I don't use I don't start off with a base coat of black unless the stock is black and then what I do is I may just go ahead and go completely over it uh, with a completely different color so this would be something like say a tiger stripe um, maybe you're hunting somewhere where it's you know it's a lot of uh, tall grass or something like that so then what you can do is just cut out these long strips like this that there again are are oblong um, and maybe you don't want a lot of color you just want a little something that kind of breaks up the pattern of whatever it is uh, where you're going hunting so these are some things that I do now also what I've used um, is netting an old basketball net uh, you take an old basketball net um, you kind of throw it over uh, whatever it is that you want to paint you kind of stretch it out and we'll grab that's black that's not gonna work <laughs> so you, you know you'll grab this and say you'll just go over it a little bit so now just a basketball net you pull it up you've got a pattern you've got something that is now breaking up uh, your firearm um, say you'll use a an old uh, laundry bag you can get these cheap laundry bags at Walmart for a little nothing so maybe you'll go over it and you'll just barely barely just spray it some just enough to get some of that paint through so once you do that now you lift it up now you've got some of the basketball netting that was there now you've got where you just kind of touched it up um, and you can use different colors obviously so now we'll go where we used black as a base and we kind of did a tiger stripe so this is all with painters tape and it actually turns out fairly well now you can imagine if you do a lot of this on a gun um, you're always going to go in the same direction so you're either going to go all horizontal or all vertical uh, with the alligator uh, something like that you know we're going to we did a couple of different colors you may use something like these little squares and uh, we, we used a, a tan base and a black to uh, a, a black to, to cover back up over it now you may want to take something like um, maybe uh, an OD green and once you get the OD green maybe you can or a gray um, maybe you can throw some netting Maybe you can throw this netting over top of it, and it's not going to be a perfect alligator pattern. That, I think the alligator pattern is going to be a little bit difficult, but maybe you can take some of the green. And you notice I'm not just holding down on the actual uh, paint. So now you take that, and now you've got... Uh, now this is definitely a little bright. You would have to... Uh, use your imagination a little bit on some different colors and things like that but you can see that if this was on a gun um, you know and you've got a lot of these dots and you use four or five different colors it's really going to break it up now we'll get into the multicam now this was something that we started out with an OD green um, painted the strips and you start peeling the strips up okay so you're going to start seeing where uh, you know these different colors and things like that have come out and we used 
uh, you know, like I said, the OD green, we sprayed it with some black, we sprayed it with some tan. Uh, now, mind you, this is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I didn't spray a lot of paint. I didn't do a lot with it. Now, um, you can basically see the concept of how you're getting all of these different patterns by using a, say, a, a green base, and then you're using something like a piece of tile where you can cut this painter's tape out, and then you're putting it down, and then you're going, you know, you're spraying back over it with another color and then you continue to just overlap all of these and spray it with a different color not taking the tape leaving the tape down until you're completely done so this is just some squares and then you take uh, an old laundry net uh, or laundry bag and then you spray over it here uh, you I think this one uh, shows the best what we did was we started out with a complete black uh, we just cut out some stripes like tiger stripes we sprayed over it with a tan and you can see the painter's tape does really well and it doesn't leave a sticky or tacky residue on your firearm and it works really well. So you can see this over a firearm would look really nice. Now, say you just want that, that odd, uh, just something to break up everything. We used an old basketball net that we cut in half. We used an old laundry bag that we cut. We started out with black. Um, you know, you could have sprayed a tan with the basketball netting. Then you could have taken that off, put the laundry bag over it and sprayed it in OD green so you can imagine what types of patterns and you're going to rearrange this every time. So I know that some of these didn't turn out well because it's not on a large stock. I, you know, it's not, I didn't have time to, um, to cut out a lot of different shapes and things like that. I just wanted to give you an idea of using painter's tape, four or five different paints, things like basketball nets, things like an old laundry bag, all of these types of things can really give you a really interesting and neat pattern. By far the best of these, I think that shows the best example, is the tiger striping, which is really easy to do. It's really fast. Um, what I typically do is take uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and I wipe the synthetic part, you know, the synthetic stocks down on my guns, or I wipe it off with a nice degreaser and let it dry and then I go back over and use painters tape and I make all these different shapes and I make all this different stuff and I overlap and I keep using different paints so I hope this I hope this all uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope this maybe helps if you did have some ideas on uh, wanting to paint a firearm or, or anything for that matter of using painters tape basketball nets an old laundry bag using multiple colors and overlapping and leaving the tape down as you paint uh, and never removing it just keeping every all the the painters tape needs to be left on the gun and just keep putting new uh, patterns over top of what you've already painted once it dries and then once everything dries go back through and take off everything and I think you'll be able, you'll be really surprised and you can make all these different shapes and it doesn't look like a lot on here but once you get it on you know once you get it on your firearm if it'll come back in focus here there we go. You can see that it makes a really good pattern. So thank you for watching True Patriot 09. Remember, uh, just pray for our families. Uh, pray for, for Donald Trump and Mike Pence. Pray for our military, our first responders, our police. Uh, let's just pray for this nation, and, and let's just put uh, our, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, back in our lives. Thank you all for watching. This is True Patriot 09.